When it comes to cities around the world, some places just seem to rub people the wrong way. From the bustling streets of Jakarta, known for its infamous traffic jams, to the remote and quiet corners of Tuvalu, which barely sees any tourists, there are cities and countries that people love to hate. Whether it's due to high crime rates, poor living conditions, or simply a lack of things to do, now, let's zoom in on the United States. In this piece, we're diving into the top 10 most hated cities in America. These cities have earned their spots on our list for various reasons, ranging from high crime rates and homelessness to extreme weather and economic decline. So, buckle up as we take a tour through America's most hated cities and uncover the factors that keep them on this notorious list. Number 10. Trenton, New Jersey Trenton, New Jersey often gets a bad reputation, and it's not hard to see why. This city, where GPS signals seem to get lost and traffic lights appear to hold grudges, has its fair share of challenges. The local weather is notoriously harsh, with winters that feel colder than an icebox and summers that are sweltering enough to make you sweat just thinking about them. The city's slogan, Trenton makes, the world takes, sounds more like a cautionary tale than a badge of honor, warning visitors to keep their belongings close. One of the most significant issues plaguing Trenton is its high crime rate. Car break-ins, home invasions, and violent crimes are alarmingly common, with crime rates soaring 187% above the national average. Residents and visitors alike frequently mention crime as a major concern. Number 9. New York City New York New York City, often referred to as the Big Apple, is a place that evokes strong emotions from both residents and visitors. For many, the city's frenetic pace, crowded streets, and high cost of living are overwhelming. The sidewalks are a chaotic mix of tourists moving at a snail's pace and locals rushing to their destinations, creating a constant sense of hustle and bustle. The sheer number of people can be daunting, making it difficult to find a moment of peace. One of the biggest complaints about New York City is its expense. The cost of living is among the highest in the world, with rent prices so steep that even cockroaches need roommates. Everyday items, like a simple bagel, can require a small loan to purchase. Number 8. St. Louis, Missouri St. Louis, Missouri is a city that elicits mixed feelings from its residents and visitors. On one hand, it boasts a rich history and a tight-knit community, but on the other, it grapples with significant challenges. Crime rates in St. Louis are alarmingly high, often making national headlines. The city also has a long history of racial tensions that continue to affect its social fabric. The weather in St. Louis can be extreme, with scorching summers and bitterly cold winters. This adds to the difficulties of living in the city, as residents must contend with harsh conditions throughout the year. Additionally, the urban sprawl and numerous abandoned buildings give parts of the city a rundown appearance, detracting from its overall appeal. Number 7. Las Vegas, Nevada Las Vegas is a city that evokes strong emotions. People either adore it or despise it. The city's relentless energy, characterized by its dazzling lights, constant noise, and perpetual party atmosphere, can be overwhelming for those who aren't fans of gambling and nightlife. For some, the glitz and glamour feel artificial, and the endless stretch of flashy casinos and themed hotels can seem more gaudy than entertaining. The extreme desert heat only adds to the discomfort, making the city feel like it's designed to drain your wallet at every turn. Many locals avoid the famous Las Vegas Strip, finding it crowded, expensive, and filled with tourists behaving badly. The traffic is notoriously terrible, and the recent introduction of paid parking has only added to the frustration. Number 6. Chicago, Illinois Chicago is a city that often finds itself on the receiving end of criticism. Despite its stunning architecture, beautiful lakefront, and iconic skyline, the city's deep-dish pizza, while beloved by many, is a point of contention for some who find it too heavy. Chicago's summers are packed with festivals, music, and outdoor activities, which can be overwhelming for those who prefer a quieter lifestyle. The city's reputation for crime, particularly in certain neighborhoods on the west and south sides, contributes to its negative image. Despite its challenges, Chicago remains a vibrant city with much to offer, but it garnered 149 votes of dislike. Number 5. 
Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia often gets a bad rap, largely due to its gritty vibe and passionate sports fans, who are infamous for their intense loyalty and sometimes aggressive behavior. Incidents like booing Santa Claus or throwing snowballs at opposing teams have cemented this reputation. The city's straightforward and blunt attitude can be jarring for those used to a more laid-back environment. Philadelphia has also struggled with crime and poverty, which contribute to its rough image. However, beneath this tough exterior lies a city rich in history, community spirit, and heart. The historical significance of Philadelphia is immense, but its rundown areas and high crime rates overshadow these aspects. Number 4. Newark, New Jersey Newark, New Jersey often gets a bad reputation, and it's not entirely fair. Many people imagine Newark as a place where folks wear white tank tops and use the F-word a lot. Not even regular tank tops, but the kind you wear under your clothes. This image is quite misleading. Newark's proximity to New York City doesn't help its case either. It's like living in the shadow of a glamorous sibling. New York has all the glitz and star power, while Newark is often seen as just warehouses and old buildings. Number 3. Los Angeles, California Los Angeles, on the other hand, has its own set of challenges. Growing up in one of its suburbs and working downtown, I've seen firsthand how sprawling and congested the city can be. The sheer size of Los Angeles is overwhelming, with nearly 4 million residents in the city and about 13.2 million in the metro area. The freeways are notorious for their traffic jams, making commuting a nightmare. Anytime you stop at a gas station, someone is likely to ask you for money. Homelessness is rampant, and while crime isn't as bad as some might think, it still exists. Additionally, Los Angeles struggles with air quality issues. The smog season lasts from May to October, and the city has historically had high levels of pollution. Efforts to reduce smog through electric and hybrid cars and improvements in mass transit are ongoing, but the city still ranks high in pollution levels. Number 2. Miami, Florida Miami, often seen as a city of glitz and glamour, is known for its flashy cars, high-end nightlife, and a certain air of pretentiousness. The traffic situation can be quite overwhelming, with congested roads being a daily reality for many residents. Additionally, the city's climate is notoriously humid, making it feel like you're walking through a sauna for much of the year. This intense humidity can be quite uncomfortable, especially during the summer months. The city's attempt to maintain a glamorous image can sometimes come off as trying too hard. There's a noticeable divide between the tourist hotspots and the areas where locals live, which can make Miami seem somewhat superficial. This disparity often leaves visitors with a skewed perception of what the city is truly like. Number 1. Detroit, Michigan Detroit, Michigan often finds itself at the top of lists of the most disliked cities in the United States. The city has long struggled with a reputation for economic decline, high crime rates, and urban decay. For many years, Detroit was seen as a symbol of industrial failure and urban blight. However, Recent efforts to revitalize the city have shown promise, even if changing its negative image will take time. One of the main reasons people have a negative view of Detroit is the perception that the city has failed its residents. Many feel that the local government and infrastructure have not adequately supported the community, leading to widespread dissatisfaction. Despite this, there have been significant strides in improving the city's condition. New businesses, cultural initiatives, and community projects are slowly but surely transforming Detroit into a more vibrant and livable place. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comment section down below and turn on your notifications to know when next we upload. See you in our next video. Bye!